welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new I hope you stay a while my name is Jazzy and today we're gonna be doing a another I guess not another my first back to school video today I'm gonna be doing my apartment haul For those of you who don't know I'm a sophomore at the University of Nevada and I'm going to be living in a apartment with four other girls it'll probably be a wild time I'll let you know I'll update you but for today I wanted to go ahead and do my haul of all the things I purchased um, and yeah, I guess let's just go ahead and get started and see what happens. So let's start with the fun stuff like always. I got a new comforter. This one is from Target. Here it is. It's from the Opal House Collection. It's like this really pretty dusty pink color. Um, and it has like some mandala patterns and I'm obsessed. And then up here at the top, I'll go ahead and insert a close up here. But I bought a pack of new sheets. They're like a white color with um, cream on them and they're really pretty and I'm just like kind of obsessed so those are going to be my like bedding items I did go ahead and buy some throw pillows so I'll go ahead and show you guys those here um, the first pillow I got is this really really pretty long bar pillow it's like a dusty pink color again has some really cute like fringe on it the next one is this long lumbar pillow again and it's kind of anthropology inspired a little bit obsessed with it but um, it has like fringe and little tassels and just all sorts of fun stuff on it and then the last one I got it was a really cute little like rectangular um, pillow. It has stripes on it. They're coral and dusty pink. And it has tassels on the side. There's like double tassels. You'll see that here in the clips I'm inserting. But I'm like obsessed with the pillows I got. So that is that for my bedding. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up this big box of stuff here. Um, this next box is mostly bathroom stuff. So I'll go ahead and speed through that really quickly because it's nothing too interesting. Um, this is something I actually made. Um, this is like a piece of wood from Michaels that I got on clearance and then I got these two mason jars. I painted them gray, added a little bit of twine and glued them on here. Um, you can probably see that there. Um, yeah, I, know, I think this would be really cute to put like cotton balls and q-tips or I don't know my toothbrush. We have, we have yet to be decided on what's going in here but I think it's really cute and I like that it's gonna add a little bit of that like farmhouse decor and then this is not for my bathroom but it is thrown in here lately I've been growing plants I actually have a little plant station right here I'll insert a picture if you guys want but um I thought this would be super cute now it's on the floor um I thought this would be super cute to like hang a plant in so like here's a little planty baby and you just kind of like go ahead and sit that in there and then it like hangs from the ceiling. I'm not gonna actually like put it in there, but that's what it would look like. I think it's super cute. I don't know where this is from. I know you can buy a bunch of them at like World Market and stuff, but my mom actually just, so well, my camera battery died. But basically what I was saying is that little plant hanger thing. I don't know where it's from. Um, my mom just had it like lying around and she gave it to me. So thanks mom. Um, this next box here, I'll lift it for you if you want. Oh yeah, lots of stuff in there. This is my bathroom box, but also like um, there's like some random things thrown in there. So, first things first, this shower curtain I'm obsessed with. I'm not gonna unfold it all the way, but it has cute little, um, like pom pom, not pom pom, what are called? Tassels, and then it has a really pretty pattern on the bottom. Um, this was actually what started the whole inspiration for both my room and my bathroom was this like shower curtain and the towels I'm about to show you and it kind of just snowballed from there but um, that's from the Opal House collection at Target. I did take out all the packaging just so that it was easier for me to fold up and like transport but the next thing that really caught my attention that day was this towel and I know that sounds really really weird like why does a towel matter but this is kind of the like theme I guess you could say for my bathroom. Um, it's like this really pretty cream color and then down here there's that purple like the tassels and then the pink and the orange so I did go ahead and get this in this big size and then I got a hand towel and then to go along with that I got this color this like coral um, orange color in the small size and a big towel and then I also got a blush pink one 
Um, you can see it's like a really pretty tone of pink and I got this again one hand towel and one bath towel I thought that would be like a good amount of bathroom stuff I don't plan on using like 800 towels a year so those were fine and then this I picked up at Marshall's it was $2.99 I got these last year too um, and I just needed a new one so I got this set of two mesh wash bags I highly recommend getting these if you don't use them already I like to throw my socks and my underwear in there um, mostly my socks so that they don't get like mismatched they're great and they're only like a couple of dollars and then to go with my bathroom um, I got rugs in the same colors as my towels. I'm not going to pull them out. They're just standard bath rugs. You'll see them in my apartment tour, which will hopefully come soon after I move in. But for my bedroom, this got tossed in here just because it was convenient. Um, I got this really cute fluffy faux fur pink rug. This was $12.99 at Ross. It's super fuzzy, and I'm just going to put this like right at the foot of my bed. Um, so that when I wake up in the morning, I have something soft and fluffy to lie down on, or step on, not lie down on. And then, in here, I also have some other little things. Um, I got a soap dispenser from the Opal House again, uh, Opal House collection. It's this really pretty, like, mandala one, um, and it's like a silver lid. And I also got the toothbrush holder for it you can see it's super pretty i love them they were a little pricey but i think it'll be worth it in the long run but yeah those were like $8.99 and $12.99 i want to say at um target and then this is like the boring stuff but i got a shower curtain liner and shower curtain hooks somewhere in here nothing exciting it's just something that was necessary and then um i got little mason jars to match um, these are either going to go in my bedroom or in my bathroom. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I got them to match that little thing. And so I painted them. I have a dark gray one. As you can see, I have dark gray, light gray, and I did distress and paint all of these myself. So I got dark gray, light gray, a sort of like blush pink color and i got a white one as well so i think these are super pretty um and then i also put just for packaging purposes i put all my um little washcloth towels in them um just for like i don't know to save space but i got a set of wash towels um that were blush pink gray and white so you guys will see those again um, in my apartment tour, I don't think there's anything that fancy that like needs to be shown right this second but yeah that is in there and I'm just trying to get all this back in the box. But the next things I purchased, um, you'll see most of this next box is mostly stuff for my kitchen, but um, there is just like little random bits and bobs. The rest of this kind of has no rhyme or reason if I'm honest. I didn't really organize things by box, I organized them by like space. <laughs> so um, I got two of these. I'm only going to show you one because I don't feel like taking both out, but they're little baskets. They're super cute. Um, I'm going to use these most likely in my closet, but I got these from TJ Maxx. This is the bigger size. It has this really pretty pattern, and then the bottom is like this braided shoving. These are so pretty, and they're really nice quality, so I just folded them up, but um, I'm going to use one probably for socks and one for underwear. And I'm gonna probably keep those in the top of my closet. So I got two, like I said. And then the next thing, again, see, like I said, no rhyme or reason. Next thing is these Honey Bee Salt and Pepper Mason Jar Shakers. Um, one's like a salt shaker and one's a pepper shaker. They're so cute. Um, let's see if this will focus. Come on. Come on. Come on, camera. Focus. Ugh, I don't think it's going to. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see. There we go. Um, so yeah, they're super cute. They have little honeybees on them. One's a uh, salt shaker and one's a pepper shaker, obviously. So yeah, I thought that was really cute. And you know, I love mason jars. I love me a good mason jar. Let's see if this will refocus on me. There it is. And then I also got this cooking light bamboo cutting board. This was from Ross. This was $3.99 and I really like it because it has these like non-slip grip things, which is great for when you're chopping stuff. So those are the first two little things for my kitchen and now we're gonna go back into bathroom stuff because some of the stuff didn't fit in the box but ugh, I got this really 
Okay. Okay. I got this really pretty basket and this is a basket that I'm probably going to use in my bedroom. And this I actually got my mom for her birthday. I put like a bunch of like really cute stuff in it and she just didn't have a use for it. So she gave it back to me. So that's fine. But here's another bathroom item. I got this really cute little tiered shower caddy thing. It like hooks on your shower. It has a little bamboo in it. I think it's really pretty and it's like kind of small compared to like a regular sized one. So I thought it would just be perfect for um, like my, my products. Like I won't need much more than what can fit in here. And then also for the bathroom, I got a toilet brush. I got one in a metal container because I hate, like I'm kind of a germaphobe. It's kind of, kind of a thing with me, but um, I got this one. This is the Anudin. A nude, a nude in <laughs> one from Ikea. I believe this is around seven dollars. So it does have a handle, it's just inside, and I don't want to unpackage this, but it's just white, it's just simple. Um, keeps all the bacteria in, hopefully. And then also from Ikea, I got plastic straws. Now, after I bought these, I was kind of like, why did you buy those? But I do realize that like plastic straws are really bad for the environment, and I've been trying to be better about like reusing bags and stuff, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and just say that I'm gonna wash these. Hopefully I wash these, but these are mostly for when my friends come over um, and we have drinks or um, like soda or whatever that needs a straw. Um, you can just use these pretty ones. So they come in a variety of colors. You can probably see it there. There's like a navy, a white, a pink, and a teal. They're so pretty and they're like $2 or something. So I got those from Ikea and then I got this as well. This is just one of those little cutlery trees. This was 99 cents, so that's a steal. But um, yeah, just like a little cutlery thing because I needed one. And then to go with that, I got these from Target. This is the Tegan flatware set. They're so, so nice. They're like a silver, like regular spoon, knife, fork. Um, and then the bottoms are like rounded. <laughs> there you go, you have it there. I believe that was around $10, which is actually a really, really good deal for um, like silverware because even at places like Marshalls and TJ Maxx and Ross, they were up like $20 to $30 and I just didn't want to spend that much for something that was not decorative. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense or not, but all right, give me just one moment. I'm gonna go ahead and switch these boxes so I can get the stuff out of the next one and we'll keep going. All right, continuing on, I got this really cute little baby pink trash can. This was $6.99 at Ross. This is again for my bathroom. It's like a little step, step little trash can. I think this is so cute. Um, obviously I didn't need a blush pink trash can, but it was available to me and it was honestly cheaper than the ones that I was going to buy at Target. So, yeah. Then the next thing I have in here is this hanging fake plant. Um, I do have a couple of fake plants, even though I am going to bring my real plants with me to college. Um, I thought these would just be cute. There's one more in there to like hang at like different heights like this. I don't know. I think that would be cute. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I just I thought it was cute and it was like eight bucks and I was like, okay, why not? This is actually before I was growing plants because right now I like grow plants in these little terracotta pots but um yeah it was just like a cute little thing i might end up putting them in my bathroom because they don't need light so add a little greenery in there i don't know speaking of my bathroom i feel like there's a lot of bathroom stuff in here i got this opal house removable wallpaper again from target let's see if this will again focus let's see come on, come on buddy there it is um, so yeah, it's this really pretty design. This is actually the design that is going to be on my shower curtain. Um, you guys will see how it all comes together, but we're gonna just go ahead and wallpaper one wall. I got two rolls just in case um, I need it. But yeah, nothing exciting. I think each roll was like $30 originally and I got it for like 15, so I got two for one and I was like, you know what? That's a deal for me. Then, like I said, this is mostly kitchen stuff. I got one little white uh, frying pan. I'm gonna kind of speed through this stuff just because I don't think it's that interesting. Um, and then I got one teal big like cooker pan, simmer pan. I do really like these like pretty handles that it has. Let's see, I don't even know where to put this. On the floor it goes. <laughs> then I got 
this really cute mint green colander. Again, nothing special. It was like seven bucks at Ross. Um, so that's in there. And then I got these at Ross as well. They're like um, measuring cups and spoons. You can see one side is the cup, one side is the spoon. Three bucks, double deal. I was all for it. That was from Ross as well. And then in here, I got four of these, but I can't find the other two for some reason. Four of these, they're just the 79 cent plastic cups from Target. Um, again, when I have friends over, I want to use like the plastic ones versus the glass ones because accidents do happen. So that's there. And then I got these really cute whisks. Um, they're like silicone whisks, and I really thought they were cute and they were made in rose gold. So that was a thing. And then. On top of that, I got, let's see what else is in here. Oh, I got this really cute set of wooden cooking utensils. And they were just plain cooking utensils, but I went ahead and painted the bottoms of them fun colors. So I thought those were really cute. Just a really nice way to add a little personality to your cookware. I went ahead and just painted them and then sealed them in with Mod Podge so nothing's gonna get into my food. Let's see, let's see. What else is in here? Oh, these. I got five of these. These are light filtering curtain panels from Target. They're just like a white sheer um, with like kind of texture in them. These are the super long ones. I'm probably gonna put these up just to like let some light um, kind of flow in the room. Um, yeah, these were like six bucks a panel at Target. And then I got these kitchen knives. They're so pretty and colorful. I went for like a colorful theme in my kitchenware because um, like I said, I am living with four other girls so I wanna be able to like really quickly be like, that's mine. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I got these really cute, colorful knives with these really soft bamboo handles. These were $6.99 from TJ Maxx, so there's those. And I also got another knife set. I promise I'm not murdering anyone, but these were $9.99 from Ross, and these are the Oster, Oster um, brand. There's a knife sharpener, scissors, two small knives, and a big knife. So I thought that was like a good deal again, so I just went ahead and picked that up. And they're a pretty teal color. And then, we also got these from Ross. These are, um, why is this on here? Oh, that's from the, ooh, that sound. This was just like a little tag from something else, but these were $9.99 at Ross. Um, it's a set of three baking trays. It comes with some cookie cutters too. I thought these would be perfect for when I'm making like dinosaur chicken nuggets in the oven. Um, I thought that would be like the perfect little thing to bake them in. And then the last thing in this box that I have to show you guys, if I can get it out, obviously. Is these glass cups. <laughs> Nothing special, they're just regular glass. You can kind of see them right there. They're just regular glass cups. Um there it is. They're regular glass cups, and there's four of them, and they were $3.99 at Marshall's and I don't know, I don't know how many cups I'm gonna need at college, but I have plenty, I believe. And I do wanna say that that's everything. I'm a little nervous because I don't feel like that's everything. Um, if there is stuff that I've missed, I will go ahead and insert clips right now, right here. All right, so last but not least, I did wanna hop on here and kind of talk to you guys about my roommate situation from last year, first semester of last year. In my original dorm tour video, which is the only dorm tour video I have up on my channel, I'll link it down below if you want to see it, it's still pretty cute, um, a lot of you guys asked what happened because in that video we seemed very happy, it seemed like we were doing fine, um, our room was set up nicely, but I did imply, actually not imply, I blatantly said that I didn't want to live with these people anymore in my description. Um, but I honestly just didn't think it would get that much attention. And truth is, it got a lot of attention, and sometimes in life, things just don't work out. And I'm not sad about it, I'm not mad at it, things happen for a reason. I'm super blessed that I was being 
um, treated fairly by my like administration and they helped me find a better situation. As for a story time or making a video about it, I probably won't ever do that. I don't know, I just wanted to go ahead and say sometimes you get stuck with people who you think were different initially. And I think I'm going to leave it at that. There was a lot of drama, a lot of issues. Um, and when it comes down to it, like some people just weren't raised to be considerate, kind members of society. And uh, I got stuck with them. Um, like I said, I was really, really lucky that um, I was able to move. If you guys watched my college week in my life video, you will have seen probably little clips here and there of like my new room and my roommates and whatever. I'm not living with those girls anymore. They were fine. We just weren't really like that compatible to live together again. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited for new beginnings. And I just don't think that those people I used to live with are important with me, to me anymore. And that's kind of the end of it. Um, I did also want to say I lived on the fifth floor of Peavine Hall. Um, that's something that a lot of comments came in. Oh, is this this hall? Is this that hall? Yeah, that's all I really wanted to say about that situation. And yeah, that's 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 all it was. It was just a toxic living environment that I removed myself from. And it comes to a point where you just gotta do what's right for you. I'll talk about that in my college advice video. But that is all. And back to our regular content. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am still doing YouTube and we're gonna do sorority recruitment videos and college videos and apartment videos. It's all coming, I pinky promise, again with my regularly scheduled vlog content. And yeah, I'm just so grateful. If you guys are new, hi, hello, my name is Jazzy, I'm 19. I'm just living my life. I don't really know what else to say. Um, yeah, go ahead and subscribe down below. Hit the little bell icon if you wanna be notified every time I post. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, or just wanna chit chat, all my social media and the comment section is available to you down below. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and check out this video from I want to say last week, but it was probably a couple weeks ago. And yeah, I will be coming out with some new videos. I hope you guys are excited. There is an apartment tour coming. Um, yeah, just let me know. Give me some feedback if you have any videos you want to see. And also, what would you want to do for a 1,000 subscriber giveaway? Let me know down below. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!